tread lightly. Keep it safe, play hard. G'day, I'm Paul Morgan, event manager of the National 4x4 and Outdoor Show in Brisbane. Well, here we are Friday morning. The weather's looking good. No rain around in Brisbane. We're here for another cracking event. So we've really gone all out this year. We've actually increased the size of the show. We've got more exhibitors on board. Welcome Four Wheel Drive TV, David Metcalf from Extreme 4x4 Sport. Hi, I'm Pierre Rowe from Eagles Holden. I'm Alan Grove from Terrain Tamer. Hi, Brad Smith from Mickey Thompson Tyres here. I'm Scott from DP Chip. My name's Randall Kellner from Dirtcom. Hi, I'm Brendan from 4x4 Wheelco. G'day guys, it's Alan Johnson here at the Brisbane 4 Drive Show. And hopefully some of you have seen me on 4 Drive TV. So once again in the National 4x4 Show up here in Brisbane, we've got a massive representation by all the major accessory manufacturers. They're all inside in the hall. So just judging by the public in the show at the moment, they're looking very happy. There's plenty to see and do here. We've got some great numbers coming through the gates and we're really looking forward to a couple of big days over the weekend. It's been an awesome weekend. Weather's been fantastic, probably a bit hot, but it hasn't kept the crowds away. been run off our feet both at the stands and also getting out and about and checking out all the action that's been here. There's been a huge amount of entertainment happening out in the arena outside with the winch trucks and Polaris's and Can-Ams sort of racing around out there as well as Tony Watley's Love Day Extreme Show. It's been a fantastic weekend, the weather's been awesome. After about three and a half weeks of rain they've had bright sunny days all day this weekend. Crowds have been huge. It's been great to catch up with a lot of different people, see a lot of our customers who've come down just to say hello again, and a lot of new customers. So many consumers with specific applications that they're looking for answers on. I think that's what these shows are all about. People can get down here, they can see the product, they can talk to people and ask questions about it. Um, yeah, that's been a fantastic show here. This is our second day here, it's now Saturday. The crowds have been absolutely amazing. We've had people absolutely chockers, you couldn't even see off the stand. I haven't even had lunch today, that's how busy it's been. Hey, what a day it's been, we're halfway through the show at the moment. It was a bit quiet yesterday, but today it's been full on. I've been talking my insides out, my throat's a bit dry now. A uh, great lot of people. We, we all agree that the four-wheel drive community is just a fantastic group of people. The odd one out, but boy, oh boy, it's nice to deal with these people who really understand and like the bush. Again, just another reason why we're involved with the National 4x4 show. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Roger Vickery from ARB, and I'm also from Creek to Coast where I'm supposed to be the four-wheel drive guru. And that's not because I'm clever, it's because I'm really old and I've spent so long in the four-wheel drive industry. Differential is a device that's in between the front wheels and another one in between the back wheels. And what a differential does is allow your wheels to turn at different speeds. And why we need to do that is if you watch me, imagine my left hand is the outside wheel, and imagine I'm the inside wheel and I'm turning a really tight right hand bend. And that outside left hand wheel has to travel a lot further than the inside wheel. A long way in fact, and it has to turn a lot faster than the inside wheel. Different speed, different speed of wheels, that's where the differential name came from. What it allows for is one wheel to go slower while the other one can go faster. That way we can go around a corner. The wheels stay turning at the right rate. If we had a solid locked up diff or no diff, 
the wheels are going to turn at the same rate exactly. You're going to have all sorts of trouble with squealing tyres, wearing tyres, hard to steer, stuff like that. So we've got a differential. The really, really bad part of a normal differential is that it lets the wheel with no traction spin. The wheel with grip doesn't get any drive at all, can't do anything. The wheel that's useless is the wheel that the diff gives all its go to. And that's a problem for a four wheel drive. So we're gonna recreate what happened all those years ago in that old patrol. And Guy is gonna drive this nice new Hilux up this little mound of dirt in two wheel drive and just see how far he can get in two. And you'd have to agree that that's unbelievable. A $50,000 Hilux, it's barely out of level. It's trying to drive up a little mound of dirt and it can't. And it, that's a normal, normal diff acting like that. But as with the Nissan, we can put this in four wheel drive and Guy's gonna put it in four wheel drive and see how much further along the track he can get. We've got over our first bump quite easily, now we're further down the track, and we've hit the next one. And look at that. The car's still basically sitting dead level, we're on flat ground, and we're totally and completely stuck. So to continue forward motion, we need to utilise the traction of those two wheels that have got grip. So what Guy's going to do now is engage the front and the rear diff locks. And he's just going to drive on up that little mound. And he's got a wheel completely up in the air. And it doesn't matter because all the drive is driving on that other wheel that's in contact with the ground. If you had a normal open diff, the wheel in the air would be spinning like crazy and the other wheel would be doing nothing for him. Now there's bound to be plenty of you blokes in particular watching this, thinking to yourself, what a load of BS, I could get my car and I could just charge straight over all that and get through there in two wheel drive even. But if you look at the attitude of the car and said, I'm gonna go fast enough to get through it, you're gonna get thrown around the cab like a walnut in a stormy sea. It's gonna be as rough as rough as anything. And that is the great thing about lockers is you can usually drive really quietly and gently through the bad stuff. And the other thing about this little demonstration, it's not on a hillside. Hillsides are where we get stuck, where we have our problems. And if you had mounds of dirt like that on a, on a hill, all the momentum in the world is gonna run out after about the second bump and you're gonna be stuck. So this is just for the purpose of a demonstration of the amount of drive you can get out of your vehicle. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you learned something. Thank you. Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all-new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. You'll get three-ton towing and the awesome 470 newton meter Duramax diesel engine, plus an impressive waiting depth and hill descent control, all for the hardcore adventurer. The all-new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. Now who doesn't want more power? And I bet that most of you with diesels have your hands in the air. DP Chip is not a snack food, it's the real deal. And simply modifies the engine's fuel injection parameters to increase performance to a measurable difference of up to 35% more power and torque and up to 10% better economy. DP Chip, the only diesel power chip with a 5 year warranty, 24 7 tech support and user adjustability. For more information on DP Chip Diesel Power, call 02 4877 1022 or visit dpchip.com. Got a ute? Need more space? Need it to be safe and secure? And of course stylish? Then look no further than Carry Boy. Designed with the true lines of your vehicle in mind and the ultimate in functionality, a Carry Boy canopy will transform the look and performance of your utility. For more information on why Carry Boy are the world leaders in canopy design, durability and practicality, visit carryboy.com.au.
So this year we're lucky enough to have Holden come on board as a manufacturer. Uh, they brought along their Colorado 7. This is actually the first time the vehicle's been on public display. So we're having it out in the action ready here and you can come along and jump on board as a passenger. Hi, I'm Peter Otto from Eagles Holden at the National 4x4 Show. We're here with the launch of the new Colorado 7, testing it out in our new 4x4 track. The show is a great platform for vehicles like this. Great opportunity for people to get in the cars and get used to them, have a good look and speak to the staff. Also got a car out on the test track today. Hi, I'm Roger Reynolds. I'm here at the National 4x4 show, driving Colorado 7 around the test track. I'm a friend of Simon Christie and I got a call on Friday saying Holden needed a driver to take a car for a test drive around the track, take people around. So Miranda and I have been sharing the driving, taking people for a drive. I think we've got Miranda from 4 Wheel Drive TV driving that one today. It looks like she hasn't broken it or dinged it up. So I've been driving four-wheel drives now for 20 years. I've been competing at other events like Tough Truck and big events for the last 10 years and I'm very impressed with the Colorado 7. It's a really good way for the people to understand how it works and how it handles a bit of dirt. So we haven't got a huge amount of obstacles out here on the test track, but what we have got I've been very impressed with. There's a little mound here that we, we drive up and I'm very surprised at how easy it does this. And then using the hill descent going down makes it very easy to control. Very impressed with the stability of this vehicle. Does it without a drama. So what do you think Jamie? Nice and comfy? Oh the seats are so comfy. So if you get a chance to take a Colorado 7 for a test drive, give it a go. Anyway, I'd better get back to work. Hey viewers, I'm Paul Morgan from the National 4x4 and Outdoor Show, Tinny and Tackle Show. We have Tony Waitley from the Love Day 4x4 Adventure Park, who once again is putting on his DP Chip Extreme Show. Love Day 4x4 Park's up here at the Brisbane 4x4 Show. I've come up two days earlier than everyone else, built this track here out in front. Pretty good track, 400 tonne of dirt has gone into here and about 100 tonne of rocks. I think we've got around about 20 real big loader tyres which make a great obstacle. They sit nicely, we screw them all together and they tend to hold together better than dirt and give you those good vertical climbs. A bit of other stuff here, a bit of junk laying around. The DP Chip Extreme Show, one crazy show. We start off the day sort of mildly with Nick Romano from What Hobbies out there. And when I say, you know, a bit mildly, he absolutely smashes the hell out of his cars, gets stuck into it. And they're a lot of fun. I had a bit of fun with some of these RC cars here. Always entertaining for the crowd. The kids absolutely love them. We then move on, young Toby jumps on the esky and goes for a bit of a fang around and hits a mound of dirt, gets it airborne. It's pretty exciting, he holds a world record for the longest jump on a motorised esky. From that, we bring out the brand new Can-Air Maverick. We've got Michael Guest here, he's a world champion rally driver, flogging it around, showing what it can do. Toby comes out on the 500cc Can-Am Outlander. Last year he was riding the 1000cc, so this is a little bit smaller, a little bit more nimble, but still managed to launch it and ride it nicely on two wheels with a bit of precision driving. It's got a lot of balance on two wheels. You can see I jumped on the back there a few times just to try and throw him off, but that didn't seem to make much difference. And chucking a bit of a wheel stand is always a bit of a crowd favourite. From there, we go into the crazy four-wheel drive. Just got an old four-wheel drive here, just showing people how tough an old four-wheel drive can be if you want to have a bit of fun and launch it and play around and get a bit airborne. 
And then, of course, out comes, you know, the favourites, the little baby cars here that Hyundai excels. Dougie, everyone's favourite. Always making his all-Australian comments and chatting it up pretty well. What are you doing? Oh, just waiting for a mate. <laughs> Simon, one of our newest stuntmen, getting a bit crazy, tipping it on its side. All in all, the DP Chip Extreme Show has been a hit for the last four years. It's going to continue to be, you know, one of the highlights. It's a great bit of fun. People love watching it. You know, I love to see the smiles on everyone's faces in the crowd. TJM have been very good, followed us all last year and again this year have come on board to help pay for some of the materials and put this together here at the show along with Caterpillar and Hastings Steering. Tell you what, it's great to sit in something brand new with that new smell in it. I enjoy driving these big machines. The DP Chip Extreme Show and TJ Moz Truck Extreme are gonna be on very shortly at the Melbourne Showgrounds at the Melbourne National 4x4 Show. So come along, have a look in the Action Arena. It's gonna be pretty cool. We've got a bit of extra stuff we're putting into it and I'm a bit excited myself to, yeah, get here and get on the loader and build some stuff. See you in August. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Hi, I'm Randall from Dirtcomp Magazine. We've had an extremely busy start to the year. We've been out hitting the tracks, gathering a lot more four-wheel drive content than we've ever done before for the magazine. We've recently done some trips with some four-wheel drive clubs down in Victoria, and we're looking to add a lot more of that as the year goes on. And this is on top of our already hectic event competition schedule with events like Tough Truck, the Aldi four-wheel drive competition at Easter, and also the off-road racing scene that we're already heavily involved in. We're also expanding the magazine this year to include a lot more of what you call super tours. Basically trucks that are on huge tyres, had plenty of custom work done to them, but still street legal, so that you can get out and enjoy sort of the beautiful countryside that we live in. For years, yeah, we've been working closely with Simon and Miranda at the events, and this is actually going to ramp up this year with Simon coming back on board with Tough Truck Four Wheel Drive event at Milgradale in April and we're looking forward to getting out and being on the tracks with those guys again as well. It's definitely shaping up to be a very exciting year ahead. Late last year we introduced the dirt section which Simon from 4 Drive TV has been putting together for us. Simon's got some pretty strong views of many of the things that are happening out in the four-wheel drive industry, including things like littering and just the state of the industry in general. It's a great opportunity for him to express himself in Dirt Comp and to our readers. It's definitely worth checking out and an entertaining read. Dirt Comp's proud to be supporting four-wheel drive TV as we have for almost the last seven years. And as always, we've got a subscription that's up for grabs in this series. All you need to do is email Simon at fourwheeldrivetv.com.au with Dirt Comp in the subject line and you can go on the draw to pick up a subscription to our great mag. We also supply a copy of Dirt Comp as a weekly prize on the regular Your Rig segment on 4 Drive TV. If you need any more information on Dirt Comp, check out the links on the 4 Drive TV website. I'm Randall from Dirt Comp and I hope to see you out in the tracks sometime this year. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometre warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. When the going gets tough, when you're bogged down deep, or when your mates reach out for help, Mean Mother is your first choice for recovery gear and winches. From the Tough as Nails Edge Series, built for passionate four-wheel drivers and packed with quality components and features, to the over-engineered Boss Series, offering superior reliability, endurance and efficiency under the toughest conditions, Mean Mother has a winch for all applications. Check out meanmother.com.au and explore your limits with a Mean Mother winch, the mother of all winches. At Terrain Tamer, we've tried to take all the hard work out of four-wheel driving, so you can be an expert as well as an enthusiast. Our parts interpreters talk fluent four-wheel drive because we're talking with 40 years' experience. We've got all the four-wheel drive parts and accessories that you'll ever need, so you can toss them in the back for cheap insurance. When you're miles from the closest mechanic, you'll appreciate that advice.
terrain tamer, we talk fluent four-wheel drive. My name's Andrew Sands. This is my 1996 GQ Patrol. This is my two girls, Georgia and Madison. And what I've done to the car, it started off as a 4.2 EFI petrol, which I converted to a 4.2 litre intercooled turbo diesel. Modifications I've done to it since owning it is cutting and raising the bar. I've put a 9,500 pound winch in it. Rock sliders on the side. I've fitted ARB diffs to front and rear with the ARB onboard air compressor. Got a seven inch GPS navigational system which we use. DVD screens for the kids. A roof rack fitted with jack holder and shovel holder. Also an awning fitted the snorkel. Long range fuel tank, 147 litres capacity. I've got a drawer set in the back. Drop down fridge slide with a 40 litre fridge. Since only I've also fitted an aftermarket suspension to it, I've got a two inch body lift, I've got a four inch spring and shock absorber package. I've also fitted superior flex control arms to the front of the car and three inch exhaust. I've also fitted ROH Trek 2s with Cooper STT rims, which I find really reliable in the bush. Basically, we use the vehicle for touring and I tow a camper trailer behind with uh, the kids and my wife. We mostly head up to the high country, Mansfield, Pineapple Flats. This year in June we're heading to Ayers Rock, so there'll be a centre trip to take the family up that way. There's always something I could probably add to it, but I'm fairly happy with the way the car's turned out at the moment. It's reliable and does what I need it to do. If you'd like to join us for our next Your Rig trip, then email myself with your details. Each weekly winner takes home a cap and stubby holder courtesy of all sat phones, a pair of scissors thanks to Keesler knives, a promo pack courtesy of ARB including Forby the plush toy, a travel mug, the latest ARB cap, the latest ARB jacket and a set of valve caps to bling your rig. There's an ARB Penrith stubby holder, a Manel Motors stubby holder, a U-Fixit tyre ratchet set, there's a copy of Dirt Cop magazine and Wild Deer and Hunting Adventures magazine, a set of the Australian design expander pegs, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer, an up-and-go breakfast replacement courtesy of Sanitarium, a pen and cap thanks to Berrima Diesel and DP Chip, a set of four-wheel drive TV medium stickers, and it's all neatly packaged up in an ARB cargo gear carry bag. I'd just like to thank four-wheel drive TV for letting myself and my two girls show you my rig and the sponsors as well. That was awesome! <laughs> Inside it's been great to catch up with a lot of our partners to see what they're bringing to market this year with many of them having some very exciting new offerings. Of course we've got one of Mickey Thompson's Baja race trucks on display. That's created a huge amount of interest over the weekend. But all in all, that, the products, the people, a fantastic show. And on our own stand, it's been fantastic to catch up with many of our readers and you know, see what they've been up to with their new trucks and also where they've been out in the tracks enjoying four-wheel driving and off-roading. There's a lot of imported product coming on the market at the moment. A lot of it's cheap and inferior. It just makes you realise that you really do get what you pay for. It's important for people to come down and check out quality product. People come to these shows so they can see real quality products and they can ask the questions and make sure they're getting some proper product back up and support. Yeah, that's nice. Got you. A lovely girl came around. Take advantage of it you've got a nice big screen. I lost interest quite instantly. Nice great displays, great stands, great people to do business with. Of course we'll be back next year for the Brisbane Four Wheel Drive Show.
but it's been great to be here and I look forward to tomorrow. A bit tired on my feet, but tomorrow's going to be another great day. We'll see you on Stand 717 with Terrain Tamer. Thanks, guys. And it's been great. The inquiries have been really good. The questions have been sensible. People are obviously listening and learning. That's absolutely brilliant. Brisbane Four Wheel Drive Show is always an exceptional show, so if you didn't get a chance to make it this year, definitely get it on your calendar for next year. There's always heaps to see. It's been a fantastic weekend here at the National 4x4 Show in Brisbane. We're very excited with the turnout of people. Exhibitors are all very happy. We're looking forward to Melbourne. We'll see you again soon. I'm Paul Morgan from the National 4x4 Show. So guys, great show, good work. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Okay, hey, it's Christian from CBT Racing. We're at the National 4x4 show again, putting on demonstration. Built a new truck again. It's got new cage and new cab. It's all been set up for cams. We're running a 4.2 diesel, GT31R on it, 37 inch maxis. It's got AOB lockers and we've got Fox shocks all around. Still on the job pretty good. A lot of guys have gone with the V8s. We've got the 4.2 diesel, we're hoping to do pretty well on it. We're going to Cliffhanger in May, so we'll see what happens when we get out there. This is our first uh, event for the year, the National 4x4 Show. Our next event will be Triple S on the weekend coming. And then we've got Cliffhanger in May. Hopefully heading for some off-road racing later on this year. Come out and watch us. <laughs>